I always used to get stick for wearing flashy football boots and none more than from my dad who always insisted that I wear traditional rugby boots. Although we've come a long way from the high top steel toe cap boots of rugby gone by, is there still some merit to his morals? Or can football boot alternatives be just as effective for rugby? Hi guys, I'm OJ from Level Rugby and today we're gonna to be finding out whether you can wear football boots in rugby games. From my own personal experience, there is undoubtedly more of a difference between a backs boot and a forwards boot than there is between a backs boot and a football boot. With the advancements in technology, there's very little to separate these two boots and football boots from rugby boots in general. However, having used these two boots, I have found two main differences between them. The first difference is the comfort of the boot. I'm not saying that the rugby boots are uncomfortable. There's definitely more football boots that are more uncomfortable out there on the market, but there's definitely a difference between the Adidas Predator Malice and the Adidas Predator Accuracy. This is predominantly as a result of the upper used on each boot and more specifically, the tongue used. The Predator Malice has a traditional tongue running through the middle of the lacing system and uses slightly more material along the upper. This makes the boot feel slightly stiffer and a little bit heavier. On the other hand, the Accuracy has a one-piece prime knit tongue running through the middle of the boot and uses softer, more flexible materials through the forefoot. This makes the boot feel lighter and more nimble and agile when it's on your foot. Just to re-emphasize the point, this doesn't mean that the Predator Malice is uncomfortable. Just in comparison with the football boot alternative of the Predator Accuracy, it's just not the same but that does come at a cost which may be more significant for rugby. The second major difference between these two boots is the amount of protection that they offer you. To maintain its lightweight, flexible feel, the Predator Accuracy uses slightly less material on its surface. As a result, there is less protection against studs and stamping. Whereas the rugby boot alternative of the Predator Malice does have a slightly thicker upper. Now it may be more stiff and a little bit heavier to run around in, but it does offer you that protection in contact areas that you're not likely to get in a football game. Obviously there is more chance of getting stamped and trodden on in the contact areas of rugby, but in my opinion, it's still gonna hurt regardless. So I don't think the cost of the heavier, stiffer upper really outweighs the benefit of the Predator Accuracy. So those are the two major differences between the Predator Accuracy and the Predator Malice. Both of them are feel-based and some players are gonna feel them more than other players who don't really notice them at all. What is similar between the two boots though is performance. Every top tier boot is going to perform in its own unique way. So regardless of their differences in comfort and protection, they're both going to perform. There are definitely more differences between forwards boots and football boots, but contrary to my dad's belief, these boots are incredibly similar and the rugby boots now come in more flashy and flare colorways too, which suits my preference. You can find both these boots on the Lovell Rugby website. I'll leave a link to them down below. And until then, I'll see you next time.